I'm Dr. Clifford Mitchell, Director of the Environmental Health Bureau at the Maryland Department of Health and Mental Hygiene. We're coming to you today to talk about an important public health problem here in Maryland, lead poisoning. The most important thing to remember is that all children in Maryland are potentially at risk, and so for the foreseeable future we'll be testing all children at ages one and two. We've introduced these new lead testing requirements because in Maryland there are many children who are potentially at risk for lead poisoning who have not been previously tested. Now it's a lot easier. We test all children born after January 1, 2015, and we test them when they come in for the 12-month and 24-month checkup. We have found the point of care testing to be really, really helpful for compliance. We're finding now that compliance for a child 12 months and 24 months to get lead screening done is nearly 100% now. Uh, we can do it in our office very quickly, so within five to ten minutes we can prep the patient, draw the blood, have results, and give them to the parents within five to ten minutes. And when we do the testing here in the office, uh, it's simply a finger stick, drawing a small specimen, and then insert it in the machine. It takes three drops of blood and we can check lead level as well as hemoglobin. When we have a child with an elevated blood level, there are some things that we do here in our office. One thing is we send the child out for repeat. We want to do a venipuncture just to confirm that the blood level is elevated. The second thing we do is we sit down with the parents and provide educational material for them. Again, they are very anxious to read and learn as much as they can. The management's going to depend on what the lead level is. If a child comes in and has a lead level of 5 to 9, We'll continue to monitor their lead levels. We'll try to identify risk factors within the home. If the house has peeling, flaking, or chipping paint and it was built prior to 78, um, then they're really going to want to have it inspected by the health department. All health departments across the state of Maryland are all dedicated to lead hazard reduction. We have a unified case management protocol, so literally every health department has access to a specific protocol and we treat all of our kids the same way. The Department of Health and Mental Hygiene and the Department of the Environment, along with our partner agencies and local health departments, non-governmental organizations such as Green and Healthy Homes Initiative and others are all working together to provide you with as many resources as you need and as your patients need to address the problems of lead. On behalf of the Department of Health and Mental Hygiene, Department of the Environment, the Department of Housing and Community Development, and the many state and local agencies, our non-governmental organization partners, I want to thank you for the care that you provide to the children of Maryland and for all that you're doing to help eliminate lead poisoning here in Maryland.